Hi guys, hope you all doing well. Welcome back to our series of Microsoft in Tune. And in this video, we are going to talk about how to enroll a Windows device with BYOD method. Now, if you're watching the series from the beginning, in the last video, we have discussed about device enrollment settings that needs to be done on the portal. And in the last video, we have reviewed how to enable automatic enrollment for Windows as the platform. In this video, we will be choosing BYOD method wherein I will be showing you how to enroll a device by joining it to Azure Active Directory. We'll also check the logs which are getting generated on the machine as well as the status of the device on the portal. Now since this will be a complete lab demo session so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my machine which I will be registering in Microsoft Intune. So this is the machine which I will be registering in Microsoft Intune and the host name is BYOD Windows. As of now, this is a workgroup machine which is not domain joined. So you can think of this either as a personal device or in fact corporate owned device. It's just that the user is enrolling the device instead of admin. Now what you have to make sure that the account with which you are logged into this particular machine should have local admin permission and as of now the account that I have used to sign into this particular machine this account which is MDM has the local admin privilege. Now when it comes to the logs that you have to check for that you can just launch event viewer and then go to application and service logs then go to Microsoft Windows and then go to user device registration and in this folder there are two kind of logs which you can check in fact most of the information will already be available in the admin section but if you want you can enable debug logs as well which I have done in my case now in order to register this machine to Microsoft Intune firstly we'll have to Azure AD join this machine and then all the policies or all the setup which is related to Intune or all the policies which is related to Intune will get pushed to this machine. Now the reason behind why this kind of experience will be there because this user object is being scoped for Intune MAM. Now, how to check that? For that, you have to go to your Azure Active Directory, then click on MDM and MAM, and then click on Microsoft Intune. And as you can see, that all the users can register their devices in Intune or they are scoped for Intune. Now, this is the way to check this information from portal.azure.com, but if you want to check the same information from the endpoint portal, just go to Devices, then click on Windows, then click on Windows Enrollment, and now click on Automatic Enrollment. This is something which we have checked in our previous video. So now what I'll do is I'll go back to my machine which I will be registering. Now in order to register this in Intune or to Azure AD Join, just click on Start, then click on Settings, and now click on Accounts. Now from this console, you have to click on this option which says access work or school account and then click on connect. Now think about this use case as a scenario wherein I am enrolling my personal device to my enterprise in tune so that all the compliance policy and configuration policies can be pushed to this particular machine but since i'm using byod i have to azure ad join this machine and then all the intune settings will come to this particular machine by default okay now i'm going to click on this option which says join this device to azure active directory and as you can see now i'm getting the prompt to enter my username and password okay so i'll click on next now I will be getting the prompt to enter my password. Once I'll click on sign in, I should get one more prompt wherein I will be notified that this device will be joined to Azure Active Directory. And then all the Intune policies will be sent to this particular device. Now, at times this may take a couple of minutes, but as you can see, I'm straight away getting this option of join. In the meanwhile, if I'll go back to my portal, 
and if I'll click on devices, the moment device is registered in Azure Active Directory or it is joined to Azure Active Directory, which will be the use case in our scenario, that device will start getting listed over here. So if you guys remember, the hostname machine was BYOD Windows. And as you can see, this is getting listed over here. My user object is getting shown here as the owner, because if you guys remember in BYOD, every device object gets associated with the user object that's what we call user affinity and since it takes a couple of minutes for mdm to comply or to stamp its status on a device so this will take a couple of minutes but in the meanwhile what we can do that we can come back to our device and check what all information we are getting here so as of now you can see that it is an acknowledgement which we are getting as of now, which says that this device is connected to concepts work. And all we have to do now is we have to click on done. Now, as you can see that this was the console which we have opened recently. So if I'll refresh this console, I'll get all the logs. So now if we'll check the step-by-step -step process with the help of these logs. As you can see, the first request for discovery was successful because the discovery endpoint, which a machine access is something which is available on the portal itself. And in order to check that, all you can do is you can go to Azure Active Directory, then again, click on MDM and MAM on portal.azure.com and then click on Microsoft in June. And this is that particular link or the discovery URL which your machine access to get to know the endpoints from where the authentication will be done or which endpoint will be used to request a certificate. As you can see, this log is showing us the information which is moreover related to all the endpoints which are used in Intune. And if I copy this value to one of my notepad I can show you most of the information that is get, getting mentioned over here is related to either Azure AD or Intune endpoints itself. So I'll quickly replace a couple of values, likewise a backslash with nothing or a space so that we can get the required results. And now you can see it is showing all the information. So this section that you see here is the discovery endpoint. And this section that you see here is the device registration service. The same set of information will also have some references related to the endpoints which are required for authentication. So if you guys want, you can review this section as well. This will give you some insights in terms of knowing which endpoint is used for what kind of purpose. Now, if you'll scroll up after certain time or after certain logs you'll also see the certificate which is getting pushed to your device which is moreover related to user now this is something which i would also like to add that whenever your device is enrolled in microsoft intune there is a certificate which is pushed to that device and your system uses that certificate to communicate with the Intune service. So this is how the registration process works. Now what I'll do is I'll quickly restart my machine to verify whether the compliant status is as of now shown or Intune MDM is getting shown on the portal or not. When I say portal, I mean portal.azure.com in the device section. So I'll quickly restart the buy system and then resume the video. So now my machine is restarted. And as you can see that since this machine is Azure AD joined, now I can choose one of my account, which is an Azure AD account to sign into this particular machine. And what I have done is I have used the same account with which I have joined this machine to Intune. Now in the meanwhile, this account is getting signed in. Let's come back to our portal which is portal.azure.com or the endpoint manager portal. And let's see what is the status of this particular device. So for that, I'm going to click on Azure Active Directory. Then I'm going to click on device. And now I'm going to check the status of this particular device. As you can see, now it is showing me that 
this device is actually managed by Microsoft Intune and it is compliant. Now, why compliant is showing yes over here? Because as of now, there is no compliance policy which I have defined. We will cover this when we'll talk about compliance policies. But as of now, our key focus is knowing Intune enrollment or how exactly the entire enrollment process works. Now what we'll do is we'll switch to our machine and see whether the sign-in attempt is completed or not. And as you can see, now I'm signing into this machine with my Azure AD account. So if I'll type now, who am I? It should show concepts work, enter. And this was the name of my directory and it is showing my account here. Now, there is one more thing uh, which I would like to cover here, and that is the certificate which is enrolled or which has been saved on this particular machine while this was getting enrolled. So to check that, go to the certificate section and then click on computer account, click on next, finish, OK, and then go to the personal store of this particular machine and you will find three different certificates which are getting listed over here. Out of these three, this certificate is actually used by the machine to communicate with the Intune service. So three things which you have to keep in mind while checking the Windows device enrollment. The very first one is the user should be licensed. The user should be scoped for MDM and the enterprise uh, DNS CNAME record should be in place. Okay. So as I've said before that though the official document says it is not required for Windows 10 devices, but it's a very small entry which you can do for your public DNS just to be sure that there is no issues for Windows discovery process. But if in case your device is not getting enrolled for any reason, then what you can do is you can refer to the device registration logs which I have already shown you and I've shown you the location as well from where you can access all that information. So this was all about knowing how the BYOD enrollment works for Microsoft Intune. So let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed in this particular video. We have discussed about how to enroll Windows devices in Intune. We have also discussed about BYOD and the machine gets joined to Azure AD, what all logs you can check and how to check the device status on the portal, which can be endpoint.microsoft.com or portal.azure.com. In the next video, we are going to talk about enrollment restrictions and what are corporate device identifier specifically for Windows. And I will also be sharing a script which you can use to check all the configuration error that you are getting either for your entire tenant or user specific. Now, if you guys have learned something new, please feel free to subscribe. If you think that this channel is helping you to learn something new, please feel free to share this with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.